Good morning. It is April 10th, and we'll be starting in Deuteronomy 34, at verse number 1. Deuteronomy 34, 1. Then Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo to the top of Pisgah, which is across from Jericho. And the Lord showed him the land of Gilead as far as Dan, all Naphtali and the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah as far as the western sea, the south and the plain of the valley of Jericho, the plain of palm trees as far as Zoar. Then the Lord said to him, This is the land of which I swore to give Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, I will give it to your descendants. I have caused you to see it with your eyes, but you shall not cross over there. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. And he buried him in the valley in the land of Moab, opposite Beth Peor, but no one knows his grave to this day. Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eyes were not dim, dim, nor his natural vigor diminished, and the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab thirty days. So the days of weeping and mourning for Moses ended. Now Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hands on him, so the children of Israel heeded him and did as the Lord had commanded Moses. But since there, <clears throat> since there had not arisen in Israel a prophet like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face, in all the signs and wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt before Pharaoh, before all his servants, and in all his land, and all by all the mighty power and all the great terror which Moses performed in the sight of Israel. Joshua chapter 1. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, you and all this people, to the land which I am giving to them, the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon I have given you, as I said to Moses. From the wilderness in this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and to the great sea, toward the going down of the sun, shall be your territory." No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and of good courage, for to this people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the camp and command the people, saying, Prepare provisions for yourselves, for within three days you will cross over this Jordan to go and to possess the land which the Lord your God is giving you. And to the Reubenites and the Gadites and the half-tribe of Manasseh, Joshua spoke, saying, Remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, saying, The Lord your God is giving you rest and is giving you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your livestock shall remain in this land which Moses gave you on this side of the Jordan. But you shall pass before your brethren armed, all your mighty men of valor, and help them until the Lord has given your brethren rest as he gave you. And they also have taken possession of the land which the Lord your God is giving them. Then you shall return to the land of your possession and enjoy it, which Moses the Lord's servant gave you on this side of the Jordan toward the sunrise. So they answered saying, Joshua, saying, All that you command us we will do, and wherever you send us we will go. Just as we heeded Moses in all things, so we will heed you. Only the Lord your God be with you as he was with Moses. Whoever rebels against your command and does not heed your words in all that you do, command him shall be put to death. Only be strong and of good courage. Chapter 2 
Now Joshua the son of Nun sent out two men from Acacia Grove to spy secretly, saying, Go view the land, especially Jericho. So they went and came to the house of a harlot named Rahab and lodged there. And it was told the king of Jericho, saying, Behold, men have come here tonight from the children of Israel to search out the country. So the king of Jericho sent to Rahab, saying, Bring out the men who have come to you, who have entered your house, for they have come to search out all the country. Then the woman took the two men and hid them. So she said, Yes, the men came to me, but I did not know where they were, where they were from. And it happened as the gate was being shut, when it was dark, that the men went out. Where the men went, I do not know. Pursue them quickly, for you may overtake them. But she had brought them up on the roof and hidden them with stalks of flax, which she said laid in order on the roof. Then the men pursued them by the road to the Jordan to the fords. And as soon as those who pursued them had gone out, they shut the gate. Now before they lay down, she came up on the roof and said to them, I know that the Lord has given you the land, that the terror of you has fallen on us, and that all the inhabitants of the land are faint-hearted because of you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the waters of the Red Sea for you when you came out of Egypt, and what you did to the two kings of the Amorites who were on the other side of the Jordan, Sihon and Og, whom you utterly destroyed. And as soon as we heard these things, our hearts melted. Neither did there remain any more courage in anyone because of you. For the Lord your God, he is God in heaven above and on earth beneath. Now therefore I beg you, swear to me by the Lord, since I have shown you kindness, that you also will show kindness to my father's house and give me a, to a true token and spare my father, my mother, my brothers, and my sisters, and all that they have, and deliver our lives from death. So the men answered her, Our lives, our lives for yours, if none of you tell this business of ours, and it shall be when the Lord has given us the land that we will deal kindly and truly with you. Then she let them down by a rope through the window, for her house was on the city wall. She dwelt on the wall, and she said to them, Get out to the mountain, lest the pursuers meet you. Hide there three days until your pursuers have returned. Afterward you may go your way. So the men said to her, We will be blameless of this oath of yours which you have made us swear, unless when we come into the land you bind this line of scarlet cord in the window through which you let us down. And unless you bring your father, your mother, your brothers, and all your father's household to your own home, so it shall be that whoever goes outside the doors of your house into the street, his blood shall be on his own head, and we will be guiltless. And whoever is with you in the house, his blood shall be on our head, if a hand is laid on him. And if you tell this business of ours, then we will be free from your oath, which you made us swear. Then she said, According to your words, so be it. And she sent them away, and they departed. And she bound the scarlet cord in the window. They departed and went to the mountain and stayed there three days until the pursuers returned. The pursuers sought them all along the way, but did not find them. So the two men returned, descended from the mountain, and crossed over. And they came to Joshua the son of Nun and told him all that had befallen them. And they said to Joshua, Truly, the Lord has delivered all the land into our hands, for indeed all the inhabitants of the country are faint-hearted because of us. Luke chapter 13, verse 22. And he went through the cities and villages, teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem. Then one said to him, Lord, are there few who are saved? And he said to them, Strive to enter through the narrow gate, for many, I say to you, will seek to enter and will not be able. When once the master of the house had risen up and shut the door, and you begin to stand outside and knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open for us. And he will answer and say to you, I do not know you where you are from. Then you will begin to say, <clears throat> We ate and drank in your presence, and you taught in our streets. But he will say, I tell you, I do not know you where you are from. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God and yourselves thrust out. They will come from east and west, from the north and south, and sit down in the kingdom of God. And indeed, there are last... And indeed, there are last who will be first, and there are first who will be last. On that very day, some Pharisees came to him, came saying to him, 
Get out and depart from here, for Herod wants to kill you. And he said to them, Go tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demons and perform cures today and tomorrow, and the third day I will be perfected. Nevertheless, I must journey today, tomorrow, and the day following, for it cannot be that a prophet should perish outside of Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the one who kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to her, how often I wanted to gather you to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you are not willing. See, your house is left desolate, and assuredly I say to you, you shall not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Chapter 14. Now it happened as he went into the house of the one of the rulers of the Pharisees to eat bread on the Sabbath, that they watched him closely. And behold, there was a certain man before him who had dropsy. And Jesus answering spoke to the lawyers and Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? But they kept silent, and they took him and healed him and let him go. Then he answered them, saying, Which of you, having a donkey or an ox, has fallen into a pit, will not immediately pull him out on the Sabbath day? And they could not answer him regarding these things. Psalm 79, verse 1, a psalm of Asaph. O God, the nations have come into your inheritance. Your holy temple they have defiled. They have laid Jerusalem in heaps. The dead bodies of your servants they have given as food for the birds of heaven. The flesh of your saints to the beasts of the earth. Their blood they have shed like a water all around Jerusalem. And there was no one to bury them. We have become a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and a derision to those who are around us. How long, O Lord, will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? Pour out your wrath on the nations that you do not know, that do not know you, and on the kingdoms that do not call on your name. For they have devoured Jacob and laid waste in his dwelling place. Oh, do you remember former iniquity? Oh, do not remember former iniquities against us. Let your tender mercies come speedily to meet us, for we have been brought very low. Help us, O God, for our salvation, for the glory of your name, and deliver us and provide atonement for our sins. For your name's sake, why should the nation say, Where is their God? Let there be known among you, let there be known among the nations in our sight the avenging of the blood of your servants, which has been shed. Let the groaning of the prisoner come before you, according to the greatness of your power. Preserve those who are appointed to die, and return to our neighbors sevenfold in their bosom, the reproach with which they have reproached you, O Lord. So your people and the sheep of your pasture will give you thanks forever. We will show forth your praise to all generations. Proverbs 12 Verse 26, the righteous should choose his friends carefully, for the way of the wicked leads them astray. And that is it for our reading today. Let's go ahead and pray. Father, we thank you this morning for your word. I think that you have given it to us and in it contains everything for life and godliness. I thank you for the encouragement from the book of Joshua that everywhere our feet goes, you've given it to us, that you are with us, you never leave us or forsake us. Help us to be strong and of good courage. And I pray you just bless this day that you've given us, that you would fill us with your spirit, that you would provide divine appointments, that you would just give us wisdom. And so we give this day to you and we thank you for all that you're doing in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys.